welcome to Speaking of Beauty with Holly Folger. Today I'm sitting here with a really good friend of mine, Lilla McCarthy. Hi, Lilla. Hi. Thank you for coming. It's nice to be here with you. Lilla is a <laughs> television executive. Do you think the media portrays it honestly, how women look? Honestly, in terms of age, or, well, or I just honestly, think, in terms look, of let's let's, <laughs> let's get down I to mean, the really. Basics. I mean, the cop who pulled me over a year ago, the woman does not look like any cops I've ever seen. I'm, she doesn't. She didn't. She was kind of scary looking. Well, television that, is look. aspirational. You watch TV because, partly because you wish that that was the life you could lead. And you wish that cop could solve your problems. Okay, you have a daughter. Mm -hmm. Do you think that that messes up girls? From the time these girls are little, they're looking at these images of people that are pretty unrealistic and and it's scary. What would you like to pass on to your daughter in terms of self and in terms of beauty? My daughter is absolutely beautiful. Her friends are sticks. She's not. And she feels, you know, she's not pretty enough, but she's stunningly beautiful and she's funny and she's got a great heart and yet she compares herself to these other images and feels less than. Mm -hmm. And I think each of us is authentically us. And if you can embrace being the best, most beautiful you and not compare it to somebody else, so allowing yourself to blossom into who you are as opposed to who other people want you to be or who you think you should be. You and I are kind of walking down the road of aging. <laughs> this is her delicate way of trying to talk about my age, <laughs> well, knowing it, that I don't talk about how's it. How's it going, though, that whole aging thing? For a while, I embraced it. I absolutely felt much better in my skin and my spirit. Then I hit a certain place where I'm like, hmm, my body's changing in ways that I'm not really thrilled about, you know, and I'm seeing my body look like my mother's body, and I was like, oh, hmm, that's interesting. But I thought about, okay, what does beauty really mean to me when it comes to human beings, or women in particular? And I thought about the people that I think are the most beautiful, and it has partly to do with their physical beauty, but it has mostly to do with their spirit, and, and that spirit shining forth. Because I think when I started thinking about it, I thought, the people who I look at and think don't look beautiful are those who have somehow become victims, who have stopped sort of moving forward and stopped being proactive and are complacent. Whether you're 65, 75. But Lilla started marathon running when you were older. <laughs> I had never run before in my life until two and a half years ago. I think that's impressive. What, how, I mean, they're like long marathons. They're 26 miles. That's intense. <laughs> it's just like, God, I can't even run a mile. I love the people. And most of the people are a lot younger than I am. The thing I've always noticed about you is you look at what interests you and you move forward. You know, having heard my speech at my dad's memorial, it's about embracing the journey for me. Did you pick a word? I got down to adventurous. Oh, I love that for you. I think whether you're 16 or 50, to somehow not settle and, and find what you love, dig deep, and follow through on it. <laughs>